Conventional heating systems extract heat from oil. Radiators transfer this heat into a home. A thermostat is used to regulate a pump that transfers the heat from the furnace to the radiator. But I'm sure you already knew that, right? <laughs> of course, very few homes use steam heating systems. Forced hot air, hot water, and even electric heating systems are more popular, but the one thing they all have in common is a thermostat. Solar heat distribution systems also use a thermostat, but there must be sufficient stored heat for a solar heating thermostat to work properly. This is the job of the heat loop regulator, or heat loop controller. This controller must know when the house needs heat and it must also know if the stored heat is adequate. If stored heat extraction were regulated with a simple thermostat, household heat may be lost to the heat chamber. The solar heat controller only allows heat to flow one way. Let's now take a close look at Richard Helliger's latest invention and see how it works. For this demonstration, the heat loop regulation mode with Fahrenheit temperature readings has been chosen. When we first power up the controller, we can see that the heat loop mode with the Fahrenheit readings has been chosen. We can then decide the minimum temperature which allows the pump to come on. This is done by pressing the lower button on the side of the controller. If we continue to press the low button, the minimum storage temperature decreases. If we press the upper button, the minimum storage temperature increases. We have chosen 80 degrees for our minimum storage temperature. This means that our stored solar heat must be at least 80 degrees Fahrenheit to allow the extraction of this stored solar heat. When we release the buttons, the actual room temperature and storage temperature becomes visible after about five seconds. That was painless. Now let's choose the room set point. This is the temperature, plus or minus a degree, we wish to maintain in our living quarters. We have chosen 70 degrees Fahrenheit for our room set temperature. This means heat may only be extracted from the heat storage when the temperature of the room drops below 69 degrees Fahrenheit. We may now release the button and observe both the room and the storage temperatures. As you can see, both room and storage temperature are about 67 degrees and the pump is off. Remember, the storage temperature must be at least 80 degrees Fahrenheit to allow the pump to come on. Okay, it's morning in Bangor, Maine and the outside temperature is 35 degrees Fahrenheit. We have turned off our backup heating system and we're waiting for the sun to transfer heat into the storage tank. As we're waiting, the temperature in our house drops to 57 degrees Fahrenheit, but our heat storage tank soon heats up to 80 degrees and our pump comes on. The temperature of our storage tank continues to rise as does the room temperature. In a half hour our house is 68 degrees Fahrenheit and our storage tank is 90 degrees Fahrenheit and the pump is still on. When the room temperature reaches 71 degrees Fahrenheit, the pump shuts off. But the residual heat in the radiant floor heating system causes the household temperature to reach 74 degrees. It's snowing outside, and the pump is off. The pump remains off for three hours, while the radiant floor gradually loses its heat to the room. The storage temperature remains at 89 degrees Fahrenheit until the room temperature reaches 69 degrees Fahrenheit. After a few hours, 
the storage tank temperature drops below 80 degrees Fahrenheit and the pump finally shuts down for the night. On some days the storage temperature exceeds 130 degrees Fahrenheit and on those days we can make it through the night without allowing the backup system to come on. But it looks like we're going to need a little backup heat tonight. This programmable solar heat controller allows the user to moderate comfort levels with energy consumption. When sufficient collectors and sufficient storage are used, a backup heating system may not be necessary, but it will always be an option. For more information about the solar heat controllers and other solar heating applications, log on to JC Solar Homes. Thank <laughs> you.